this will be part two of installing the Kmar rear tire carrier. Welcome to the Land Cruiser project. So yeah, Land Cruiser's out of the garage, so that's exciting. Da, 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 da. <laughs> anyway, um, but yeah, we're, we're getting onto this and I'm kind of stuck here at a moment. It, there's, there's a really vague measurement that says like you must have 25 millimeters and I think it's between like this face and like the, the bottom of the, the tailgate here. And like it's not even clear how you'd get that measurement. Anyway, we're gonna put, they have, um, you know, they include these little like three millimeter like packers. So we're gonna throw one of those in there and, and see if that comes out just a little bit. Anyway, it's, the measurement's awful and the picture they show is just terrible. But anyway, yeah, let's, let's get on it and get this thing on there. All right, so back to the stage. Um, the instructions don't really tell you to use the, the spring washers. If you look really carefully at the instructions and you zoom in, you can see them. And it also doesn't tell you, you know, if you don't have this magical 25 millimeter spacing up here, um, it doesn't tell you where to put that, you know, that little packer. Uh, anyway, not a big deal. You know, it makes sense. You can kind of figure it out, but just little things like that are a little complicated. All right, so just a little check. I don't know, off this face and yeah, looking at that, so the end of the little caliper is going to be 25 millimeters, so it's pretty close. It's mostly flat. It kind of depends on which way you look at it, but anyway, looks looks like it's there. And then, um, thank goodness for like wobble sockets, because getting to those up in there is going to be like impossible. Um, anyway, so I've got them kind of hand tightened in there, so we're going to go ahead and kind of crank them down. And the next step is kind of tightening the bolts that go into the the bottom of the uh, what you call it the hitch and then yeah anyway just keep on trucking along i'm we're not going to cover everything in here i'm um, just some of the weird things like you know how to get that spacing that just isn't really clear so the instructions also tell you to um get these four bolts on first and then tighten up the bolts in the you know this little c channel well, the problem is so there's four um there's anyway but this covers up access to two of them so yeah, nice instructions. Okay, so we have drilled two holes here for the, the kind of the latch. So you end up kind of putting this through there and then marking the holes. So I'm gonna paint these and yeah, hopefully it lines up. So another issue here with the kit is that there are different height or length bolts and they don't differentiate at all. They're just like, oh, use the M10 bolt. And yeah, that's a little frustrating because yeah, you don't know, you know, for the bolts that go in, you know, here, right? If they need to be long or you know, the ones that are going into these holes, if they need to be longer, like again, they gave different size bolts. So yeah, tell me where those go instead of just, you know, saying, oh, put the 10 millimeter bolt in. Yeah. Anyway, if you don't believe me, uh, right there. And that four 10 millimeter bolts screw easily. Oh, and by the way, there's only two. They tell you to drill out four holes, but yeah. Like, look at that, there's, there's only two holes to drill. I don't get it. All right, so as you can see, we are almost done. Um, the cap took a little bit of strength to get pounded on. Um, the dead blow hammer, like a little rubber mallet type one, that did the trick on getting it in there. You know, this little this little guy wasn't wasn't cutting it. Um, anyway, so for the most part, you know, it went together pretty pretty easily. I think um, maybe a couple things to explain. Um, you know, there's there's two bolts here. These are critical to get you know tucked in so that your tailgate doesn't catch. Um, I I had to trim a little bit of my cover there just to make me feel a little bit better about about the spacing, um, I don't know, maybe it would have worked. Anyway, so a couple things, you know, these these bolts and then there's, you know, there's three underneath here, uh, you know, the ones that are in the black there. So so those five kind of all have to be put in loosely and, um, and then kind of like cinched up all at the same time. And then same thing, there's the three 
in that gold kind of colored or that you know brass plated bracket those three plus the four that go you know inside the cover here uh, that attach to the frame rail um, those also need to kind of all be put in, in the, at the same time and it's not like totally clear um, you know in the instructions how to do that um, one other thing you know it gives you some decent instructions for you know putting this little you know this little bumper right on there and if you follow the instructions and you kind of place it um, you know where you want you'll you'll notice that that lower left <laughs> part of that right hole is where um, you know when you let this sit up against the frame or the body here the bumper cover that's where it wants to go um, anyway so I would recommend instead of you know fitting it up that way um, and maybe starting on this left hole because it's you can get to it on the back side is push something you know poke something through it and um you know and that way you know where the hole is and then go ahead and you know drill based on that and i actually used the dremel with like a milling bit and that worked really well it got me this you know super nice hole anyway so i'm about to bolt this up and yeah kind of see how it see how it latches up so hang on okay so there's another spot here that they say make sure to get 35 millimeters of spacing between um, you know, basically between this point here and this point. Um, so you can notice, you know, I'd marked out 35 millimeters with that tape. Um, you know, and so I don't have 35 millimeters here. Uh, and just kind of proof. <laughs> uh, so I'm at 35 and yeah, I just, I don't have it. But it, you know, it seems to be, you know, as it needs to be here. It seems pretty pretty sturdy so um anyway and that's just based on how you know they you know how it all like fits so i don't know really what else what else there is to do there uh so anyway there's the you know, more or less finished product on the back there i'm gonna go ahead and grab my wheel and give it a shot while I'm not trying to keep my jacket clean. The heavy tire. I don't know why people go with oh, tires that are heavier. Come on. Yeah. That is heavy. All right, so here we go. It's on. Um, is it worth it? Um, I don't know, I'm glad to have the spare tire out from underneath. Um, you know, it's, I'm a little like OCD when it comes to, you know, doing, you know, things that are irreversible. So there are some irreversible things on here, you know, drilling holes into your bumper cover. I mean, minimal, but, um, you know, for the most part, yeah, it went together really well. So my struggles were mostly around when you know, I maybe put something on and, and, you know, those kind of groupings of bolts I mentioned earlier is, you know, that's not spelled out. And so like, I expect the instructions to be like spot on, um, for everything just to be like perfect. And like, I know each vehicle is just slightly different. Um, but anyway, so it went on reasonably well. So the biggest point of frustration was, um, the big gold bracket and getting those, the four bolts that go into the frame side, um, and the ones underneath. Um, you kind of have to get them all started and like that wasn't obvious and once I kind of figured that out after you know like <laughs> oh I don't know a million swear words <laughs> um, it, it went on pretty much just just fine um, the only other hiccup was having um, you know on the rear bumper cover the um, the bolt holes not quite be perfect um, and I mentioned you know how to how to avoid that uh, so anyway, but you know overall quality um, is good um, custom service from Long Range America um, was was excellent and yeah it's on here uh, excited to see um, I don't know it's not really gonna do much of anything but I am I am glad to have that out of the way so besides that like it you know it opens and closes just right um, yeah pretty pretty happy with with that part of it um, you know if you're looking for something lightweight you know this is a good option uh, if you don't want to splurge I mean you're talking like you know what 3,000 plus for like an aluminum bumper 
um, you know otherwise you're going with the steel stuff and you can get the steel bumpers pretty cheap but anyway this is a good solution for me so I still have to move the license plate over but that's you know really not a huge deal and yeah anyway so yeah if this is something that you want to do at some point um, yeah go for it um, reasonably well put together kit um, you know I will say the lead time was was pretty big and then you know obviously we had the snafu with the wrong model but I suspect you won't have that issue um, yeah, anyway, so those are my initial impressions, and yeah, we'll see how it holds up over the years. Thanks for watching.